Kev, okay, taking the decision to, to close the training ground um, with, the, with the Rhinos, talk us through the process, how, how we've arrived at that. Yeah, it's been really difficult and uh, really disappointing to say that we're having to close down for, for five days, but it's absolutely the right call. Since returning um, at the start of January, it's been really difficult, especially with the new variant. Um, all the measures that have been put in place over the last sort of 10 months just don't seem to be strong enough at the minute to prevent the spread internally, so um, we've had a number of positives that's taken down a number of close contacts and um, we've got to put pe people's health and safety first and, and make sure people's families are safe and, and also do our, play our part in, in trying to spread, trying to stop the spread across the communities and, and make sure levels are, are going down, so absolutely disappointed today, but um, safety of players and staff and everyone involved is paramount. And as a club, it had increased the, the amount of precautions being taken, people being tested every day before they come into training at, at the cost of the of the club to, to try and make, make every precaution possible? Yeah, we've done everything we could. Um, they don't sort of reflect a fair bit, especially the last couple of days because this has been bubbling and brewing. Um, we, we did, we, we implemented whatever measure we could. We started testing every single training day, which, you know, when you think of where we were last year, it was only testing once a week when we started and uh, early January was testing twice a week and we've been up at four and five times a week at the minute and um, it's still not preventing the spread so we, we're dealing with a, a different beast to what, what we were last year um, whether that's variant two we're not quite sure but um, our defence mechanism at the minute hasn't been strong enough and we need to put something in place to make sure people are safe and um, that's what we've done and like I said I'm really disappointed but ultimately, the health and safety is, is more important than anything at this stage. And presumably the hope is that those, obviously you know the ones who are positive, but those are vectors for it, that it will go through through the system and when everyone comes back, we're now we're clear to, to carry on. Yeah, we've, we've put a lot of different safety nets in place now. We have a full monitoring system that you know we do every day anyway through the app, uh, which flags any symptoms, but everybody's at home, will do a lateral flow test every single day and we'll keep track of everybody until we do another um, staff and player test on Monday. Hopefully um, the results are, are pretty good for us. We'll resume training on Tuesday again with still another belt of, of protocol and precautions put in place to ensure we, we remain safe. And the first priority, of course, is is that you, our people here at the club, the players, the staff, but their families and, and the wider communities that they're, they're very much part of. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, when we've seen so far, um, the issues that have come from our positive cases haven't been anything like what has happened in the community. So a lot of players have been asymptomatic. A lot of players have had minor symptoms and, you know, you feel very fortunate for that. But actually, it's the spread of it and people's families at home, the wider community, as you, as you mentioned, and there's a lot going on out there still, and clearly we're not immune and clearly we can still spread, so it's absolutely the right call. And I know that the, the club's COVID team and also working in conjunction with the RFL, it's been a very much a hand-in-glove uh, system in terms of monitoring the cases. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I felt we've been on the front foot um, you know, ever since these protocols were put in place. Um, our medical team, Sue Ward, Sarah Tate and, and Jason Davidson have done a wonderful job in, in ensuring everybody's safe and the training ground's safe. And, um, but like I said, we're dealing with a completely different beast at the minute and uh, we have to change, we have to do something different but, but make sure when we come back uh, those extra measures have been put in place. The RFL have been great. Uh, they've been fully across and, and we've communicated really well and had some really good dialogue with them and they've been fantastic and like us, this new variant has, has caught everybody and, and um, we're trying to work through it the best we can but it was certainly this morning after that next round of testing, uh, it was mutually agreed that was the right thing to do and um, you know, people's safety and welfare is, is vital. And whilst the loss of a couple of training days uh, is, is a disruption, hopefully handled correctly, we can we can get back into to pre season and it, it really be a, a bump on the road to, to look ahead to the year. Yeah, I think we're fully aware that every club um, is going to face something similar to this. I know there's been a couple that have gone down already, which is very sad to see. And, and you look, at, you only have to look outside at different businesses that are affected. 
um, you know the hospitals are, are jam packed so um, it is a bump in the road for us it's you know it's it, does it ever come at the right time I'm not sure but um, you know we planned a couple of days off in February which had gone last week anyway with the new government announcements so we'll use our time wisely to make sure we're ready to go and I think with you know the season being put back a couple of weeks anyway we'll use our time wisely but, but, but I have to say I'm, you know, I've been really buoyed by the sessions that I've seen you know, I've been out on the field and, and watched a number of them and the boys look fit and athletic and skillful and, and strong and you know we're, we're three weeks in so it's a minor setback at this stage but we'll catch it up.